So I was doing this problem on AdCoder the other day called Many Segments, and I learned uh, this problem is about overlapping intervals. And through this problem, I actually learned a very cool trick about how to solve overlapping intervals and how to check if something's overlapping without using any conditionals or just one conditional, to be honest. So like, let's say we have, um, let's go on paint. Let's say we have some intervals. So what I mean by interval, I mean, it could be like a time that with a start and end, it could be, I don't know, a line segment with a start and end. So essentially anything that's like, like has like a start and an end, right? It could be a time. It could be like, like a start time and end time. Anything like this, right? It could be on a number line. So let's say I had like an interval between one and five, right? So let's say we want to check and uh, let's say I have another interval, let's say between two and six, right? So two and six. So this would be two and six, and this would be one and five. Now, um, in like some books to check if something's overlapping, right? So how would you do it if you wanted to check if something's overlapping, right? Well, um, what some people would do is they would check like the, the leftmost, the leftmost um, boundaries to see if it's between the starting boundary for the, one of them, if it's greater than the left side of one of the starting boundaries and smaller than the right side of the starting boundaries, right? And now you could do that. That is a, that is a way to do it, to check for boundaries. And I, I, know, I know some people, they also check if like, the right side of this boundary is between these two boundaries, right? Then that means they're overlapping, right? They're between the start and end time, right? These two intervals are between. But here's a trick that you could do that I learned in this uh, ad coder problem is that all you have to do is just check if the maximum between the left boundaries, so the maximum of these, maximum of this boundary is smaller than or equal to the minimum of this boundary, of the right boundary. So in this case, it would be the maximum, I'll just type it out here. It would be the max, whoops. It would be the max between the left boundaries, which would be one and two, is less than or equal to the minimum of the right boundary, which would be five and six. Okay, and the reason why this works is because if the maximum of one and two, which would be two, in this case, this would be two here, if it's smaller than or equal to the minimum of the right boundaries, the right boundary of the right boundaries of five and six is five. So since two is less than or equal to five, that's overlapping. And this works in most cases, actually. Um, if you had like another interval, let's say we had here, um, let's say we had one and five, and then we have another interval like two to three, right? So this this interval is overlapping, right? So if I were to check the max between um, the left boundaries, which is one and two, so this max of one and two, it would be two, right? And two is smaller than or equal to the minimum of two and two and five, that's uh, between three and five of the right boundaries, right? So then that would be three, right? The minimum between three and five is three. And then that's also overlapping, right? So that would be an overlapping interval also. So yeah, as long as if you check the maximum of the left boundaries less than or equal to the minimum of the right boundaries, this trick works regardless, okay? You don't have to do all, any of these conditionals of uh, if if the left boundary is between left, is greater than or equal to the left side of one interval and smaller than or equal to the right side. And if uh, the right boundary is greater than or equal to the left boundaries and smaller than or equal to the right one, right? The, the second one, and you don't have to check if, I don't know, if, if the left boundary is equal to the left boundary and the right boundary is smaller than or equal to the right boundary. Like you don't need to do all this interval checking. Yeah, so all you have to do is, if I were to write this, rewrite this again, there's a cool trick. You just have to do um, minute max of left boundary bound is small or equal to min of right bound. So yeah, that just, uh, that's it. You, that's the only if condition you need to check, then it's overlapping. The two intervals overlap.
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. This is a cool trick. I'll see you guys later. Peace.